Hello, this is Dr. Triple Seven, and today we're showing you guys how to split a file into multiple parts and be able to put it back together again. This is great for a uh, big files. You can split them into smaller files, put on multiple flash drives, bring them to another computer, and join back together again to get the program or file back. This is also good if you work for the CIA or anyone super powerful and you want to guarantee a file doesn't get transferred. You can bring in five different flash drives and put it back together again. Anyways guys, if you go ahead and into the description below, you can download a file called Split Bytes. Um, this is the website they have. So you can see they have a install version and a portable version. Um, the portable version I will be showing you guys today. The install version is the same thing, just install, installs. Now the install version, um, like, I, like it shows here, integrates itself into Windows Explorer, whereas the portable version doesn't. So once you have uh, selected the one you want, just download it. I have already downloaded the portable version. So this is right here. So just double click it. It'll ask you uh, a security because it's done to unknown publisher. Just click run. And now we'll have the option. So click next. I agree. And then choose where you want to uh, install it. If you are installing the portable version, It'd be a good idea to install it to your desktop. Now, that means creating a folder first. So, just um, click, or hit, go to your desktop right here, and then hit Make a New Folder, and name it Split Bytes. Now, the nice thing about the uh, portable version is you can take it around, so you can put it on a flash drive, and it still works. So, as you can see right there, we have uh, done that. Click Next. Now it's going to say quick or custom. I'm going to say custom. Click custom and this is why. It's going to ask if you want to install some uh, third party spam stuff. Click custom and then you can go unclick the uh, search adjuster. Hit install. Now it's going to ask you if you want to uh, Install all this baby long crap. Just unclick all of them. And then click, or hit decline actually, just click decline. Alright, click finish. And there you go. And once you're done, it will come with this awesome little website on how to run it. But I'll show you too. So if you open up the split by folder, wherever you install it, you have a split by portable. Open that up. And then all it needs to run it is scroll down to the splitbyteportable.exe and you can run it. Um, these other folders, I believe, I'm not even sure what it is. I think it's just the languages. But anyway, if you're doing this in English, go to the bottom, open it up, and there you go. So today's file we're going to split is in this folder over here. And you guys can see I have a English bio, which is my biography that I handed in. And above that is the split files, which is an empty folder. So basically, we're going to take this file and we're going to split it and, drew, and put the split files in there. So when you open the software up, you're going to see you have a couple different tabs here. You have split, join, MD5, checksum. But anyway, so in the help here, we have some just some simple stuff, um, languages, download any of the other software, and file to exit. All your stuff's been done right from the main menu here. So, um, click File to Split. So now you have two options here. You can go File, Browse, find it. But the easiest way to do this is actually just match up with this. Take the file you want to, bring it over here, and drop it. It will automatically enter in the path for you. Now, Destination folder. Um, you can open up to where you want to destinate it to. Click this area here, and then you can copy it and just paste it in. Or, of course, you can go browse and find it again. So this is where you have a couple options here. So now we get to choose um, how we're going to split it. So we can split into a, a destined amount of equally sized parts. So if you want to put it on, let's say it's a 8 gigabyte file, and you have... Um, two 4 gigabyte flash drives, so you might want to split into two equally sized parts, which means 4 and 4, 4 and 4 flash drives, or two flash drives, sorry. 
So you can completely choose here. This is up to you. So or you can go um this so you can go after every hundred megabytes split it. So if it's a three hundred megabyte file, you do that, it'll be three files. So for this tutorial though, I'm just gonna split them into three different files, equally sized files. Or actually I'll go two. Because this file is only forty K or uh, kilobytes, so it's not gonna be useless really to split into three. Output file power name here. You can leave that the same. Um, that doesn't really affect you, but it's this easier. Now you have some options right here, so you can have uh, encrypt data, all that beautiful stuff. But we're gonna leave it alone. So by default, it's gonna show us the output file when we're done. Now you can click email, and that will email it. And if it's a big file, you can actually click shut down computer when done, and it will shut it down for you. Once you've done with that, go, go ahead and click split. And I'll say successful. And you guys can see it opens up the file for us. And you guys can see we have two um, parts here, part 0 and part 1. And you can see they're both 20 kilobytes, and I cannot open them up. So they're useless when they're, when they're split but they're useful when they're joined. So, now let's say you move this to a different computer, open this program back up again on that computer, go to join, and what you can do is, you can just take the, this, you can take the browse, go browse here, go wherever they are, split files, part zero, hit open, and what happens is, it's going to take part zero and it's going to recognize part one by default, and it will drop it in there, and it will also fill out our um, output file. Sorry, got lots of words there. Uh, output file, so it's also going to drop it right back in there again. So once it's done that, you can go ahead and click join. So it's successful. And you guys can see it now have it in there. So you can open it up, and you guys can now see that it works. All right. So that's it, guys, for this tutorial. Again, I will have the link down both down this program in the description below. And besides that, guys, hope you guys liked the tutorial. Um, again, this is Split Byte Portable. There, are, there also is the installer version. If you do like the theme that I currently have, I will have a link in the description below for that too. And besides that, have a great day. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.